He rings me up six days after the campaign went out and said, uh, John, I got a problem. I said, what? What do you mean? He said, we've got no more grass. I said, what? You just moved three miles worth of grass. He said, yeah, in six days. What have I opened already? I've opened up uh, this one here. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Happened to be a client. And he owns a business called ALC Turf. And he said, look, we've got to move a lot of turf. And when I got there, I said to him, how much turf have you got to move? And uh, there was mountain ranges to the right and mountain ranges to the left. And he said, look to your right as far as you can see and look to your left as far as you can see. I've got six kilometers of grass I've got to get rid of. Anyone who might be in the States here, three miles. And so therefore I said to him, okay. He said, look, I've seen that thing on TV of yours with the building society where it's get a, you know, get a home and get a free vacation. Um, and so therefore, can you, can you do something like that for you? I said, well, I don't think you've got the margin in $5 a square meter or square yards, whatever it might be to do that but let me ask you who's your target audience and he said well it's not mum and dad's because they might just get the front yards with the grass he said it's landscapers who will get two homes or three homes with the grass at a time i said okay well what do you think would be a good lure to get them to take notice of you uh, compared to anyone else because grass is grass it's like the building society handing out half a million dollar loan there's no difference from getting it from one bank to another bank and likewise grass no difference from getting it from one turf thumb to the next I, I believe Cadbury chocolate tastes better than any other chocolate but in the instance of grass it's the same damn grass you know so anyway he said to me well landscapers you tell me what they'd like I said I'll tell you what they like I mean 98% of them 99% of them are men it'll be beer and they're used to drinking just a normal working class beer. Why don't we take it up a level and give them a carton of Crown Lager, which is a very prestigious beer, for every 500 square metres of uh, turf. In other words, a you know, normal house front and backyard. And he went, do you think that would work? I said, I think it's got half a chance. So anyway, he rented a, a database of about 500 landscapers throughout Brisbane and the Gold Coast. And because landscapers are not really tech savvy, we sent out a mailer, so therefore, it's, and also an email, but nonetheless, we sent out a direct mail piece. He rings me up six days after we sent this uh, leaflet out, which said, for every home's worth the grass, we'll give you a carton of ground lager, because we know you can get your grass from anywhere. Uh, and uh, he was sick of price discounting, because what landscapers would do, landscapers would ring up and say, how much for a square metre of grass, as for, let's say, some water, which is a brand name grass. And he'd go, oh, $6. They'd go, oh, we can get it across the road at the other turf farm for $5.50. He'd have to go five dollars twenty, and it's a race to the bottom. He said uh, he rings me up six days after the campaign went out and said, uh, "John, I got a problem." I said, "What? What do you mean?" He said, "We've got no more grass." <laughs> I said, "What? You just moved three miles worth of grass?" He said, "Yeah, in six days." He said, "We had landscapers who were the biggest pain in the back, you know, earlier, who were ringing up saying, "I want 18 homes worth of grass." I don't care about when the grass gets here. I've got a party on Friday. I need the 18 cartons of beer. It's the Happy Meal toy overtaking the damn product, of course, but he didn't care. He just moved all of his grass. Uh, I've got a testimonial from him. in the advisory business, if you get like a stunning result like that, you jump in the car with your phone and take a testimonial like straight away. And uh, so I did. And he looks down the barrel of the camera. It was just a classic testimonial. He said, yeah, look, this has been the most stunning thing I've ever. He said, we're actually buying turf from other turf farms ourselves just to keep up the demand for the beer. <laughs>